Hey there, I'm Brie and I go by Tip of the Moon and I've created a um, Reiki ASMR session for you today to help um, calm anxiety and stress and just feel really grounding and peaceful. Um, I'm going to use some crystals throughout the Reiki session and I'm going to show them to you now. Uh, first I'm going to start off with this amethyst, it's really kind of soft, light colored purple. And I love this for just relaxing and opening up the energy body, especially the aura. And just giving us a little bit of that crown opening divine connection to help us ease our um, stress and worry. And all the crystals in this session are the number one ones I recommend when people ask which crystal for anxiety. These three for sure. Um, after that, I have this little tiny how light tumble and this one again is very calming very peaceful very relaxing kind of feels like a spa just this nice airy softness and then lastly i have lapidolite with all its lovely um, lithium and i love this for just calming again soft peaceful, feels very light, and um, helps relieve any anxiety. So those three stones are some of my favorites for anxiety and so I'll use them in this session. And I'm also going to start off with just um, kind of a light feather cleanse. Instead of smoke or anything harsh, we're going to keep it very light and airy throughout the session. So um, using something like this to just start. I'm just going to use this feather ever so lightly on the outside of your energy. Just kind of in the aura and around and softly using it to brush away anything um, not pertaining to this session. Anything feels extra or distracting, just starting to remove it lightly. Sometimes smoke can feel a little bit harsh or have harsh scents that are um, disturbing to some people. So we're really trying to keep this one very soft and gentle. starting to brush away any resistance and you might want to start paying attention to how your breath and your body feels. If you can start in the head and begin to scan down the body and find those spots of tension. I like the feather too because I hope that you can imagine little feather um, flips of air kind of coming your way. I'm going to use the feather to just slightly scoop out and remove anything. Sometimes treatment for things like anxiety and stress can cause stress on the system. 
And so we want to make sure that the tools that we use add to that energy of relaxation and peacefulness. And that they give us a sense of calm in themselves. That's just the feather, um, it feels really nice and soft, good for cleansing, sometimes they use it with smoke. And now I'm going to bring in the amethyst and this is just a really soft piece with little tiny points and it feels like it massages the aura and I use it very often with clients to just um, brush through the outer energy body and start to open it up like little pores opening up but amethyst is also a very calming and peaceful stone it asks us to gently open up the crown chakra and allow that sort of heavenly divine energy to come in and support our system Often when we have a lot of anxiety and stress, we just don't have the energy to devote our mental capacity to every little thing. And so we're really just hoping to bring in that peaceful, everything's gonna be okay, reassurance. of opening up the crown and bringing that and pulling it down. Slightly brushing through, kind of like a gentle comb. And as the amethyst runs down the outside of your energy field, it's also cleansing and filtering away little impurities, allowing us to just calm our thoughts. Calm our mind, calm our body. Amethyst is a really good stone for next to your bed or somewhere that you're meditating or taking a relaxing bath because it is just so kind of peaceful. but not peaceful in a way that's disconnected. That's the important part to remember. Peaceful in a way that is very connected to the divine, to that heaven or sky energy. And opening up flow to those things. Just 
massaging that all through the exterior. And just making sure everything feels soft and open. And once your energy feels ready to receive, we'll bring in the Howlite for calm. So I have this piece of Howlite, very um, soft and smoothed over, feels calming, feels relaxing, sort of um, cleansing and clearing too, like clouds parting and seeing open sky. Um, so just lightly coming to touch along the skin and the face and it just feels cool and refreshing. Slowly using Reiki and the crystals together to give you a nice clear space to release any stress or anxieties that you're having about the future, fears that you're having about your past, any of those kind of stressful thoughts. We're going to do some pulling of them away and then replacing them with the cool, clear, howlite feeling. Just rubbing that in. And pulling away any of those bits that are feeling stressful, anxieties, fear, stress. And pulling those out. And replacing or smoothing over them with this this highlight, this calmness, allowing that calm to just peacefully overtake us. And we're just sort of melting away that stress. Just pulling it off, pulling it away. just fall away and also leaving us feeling a little bit more solid a little bit more stable Pulling away any stress, releasing those doubts, all the things that sit right on the front of our thinking mind, keeping us out of sorts, keeping us feeling frantic, any of those, just pulling them out, bit by bit. And then smoothing over, calming, quieting. You want to feel that sort of a zen state is what how life feels like to me. Not 
empty but clear able to move in any direction if needed if you wanted but it also feels very nice where you are right now symbols a little more highlight to smooth that all in So highlight, especially when you're feeling very stressed, is a good stone to have in jewelry or as a pocket stone can help you. Something you can maybe hold on to um, when you're feeling a little overwhelmed. It's very calming and honestly the same for lapidolite. And what I like about it, besides the lithium feeling calm, but this piece has lots of little mirrored bits and I like to think of them just kind of um, reflecting that stress off of the body and so I'm going to use this to kind of place along the exterior body just these little mirrors they can kind of bounce unwanted energy off of you just activating those little spots sort of rolling that into the skin Calming. I'm just activating the spots. Rolling that calmness into the body. And the petalite feels like soft, lavender scented breeze kind of floating by, cool and calm, just enough that you notice that reassurance is there. It doesn't really ask much of us, just to find that quiet calm within the storm inside of us. Just placing it all along your skin, starting in the crown and working down. Drawing that down, all that calmness, all the way to our tips of our toes, just perhaps it feels steady and your body starts to feel a little heavy. So you relax into that, you're not numb, but you're finding that calm, finding that peace.
perfect. It's a nice lip highlight to add to our piece. And again, a very good stone when you're feeling anxious. Um, comes in the tumbled or this one's raw. It can be a little bit more white and purple. Very good. It feels very nice. Um, so now I'm just going to kind of um, brush through your aura and sort of fluff things up. Fluff that calmness in. Allow it to be what people see on the outside too. Maybe they decide not to disturb your peace. So you look so calm. You look so relaxed. Maybe they leave you be. Just making sure that we feel inside and out that calm feeling. If there's any more anxiety or stress, allowing it to just be pulled out in this last portion. And you don't have to worry so much about thinking about it consciously and forcing it out. We want this again to be soft and easy. Not something you need to do. Just that you can relax into it. Relax into that release. And if you find yourself overthinking, just returning your thoughts to your breath. That calm, easy flow that you can always tap into. Just pulling. Fluffing. That's much, much better. Things feel soft and light, at least for the moment. Stress will always come back, but that doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. You just have to find those ways for you to restore your energy and feel better. So, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much. If you enjoyed this session, these are um, the ways that you can support my channel. Leave a tip in my tip jar, like, subscribe, leave a super thanks, or join my Patreon community. We'd love to have you and it really helps. Thank you so much.